What is a marketing strategy and why do I need one? Hey there, you're here because you know how essential an effective marketing strategy is for businesses who want to get ahead. In this video, you'll get to know the basics of developing a solid marketing strategy for your business. Let's start at the beginning. What exactly is a marketing strategy? A marketing strategy is your brand's long-term game plan. It tells you what you're trying to achieve with your marketing activities. Your strategy defines who you are as a brand, who your target customers are, your value to those customers, and your end goals, which you want to achieve through marketing. While your marketing strategy says what you're trying to do, what it doesn't do is tell you how to do it. Instead, the how is your marketing plan. What's the difference? Your marketing strategy is high level. It's a big picture view, which includes details like what you're trying to achieve overall through marketing or your goals, how those achievements will support your larger business objectives. By contrast, your marketing plan includes details like a timeline of your marketing activities, the milestones you need to hit for each one, the KPIs you'll measure along the way. In other words, your marketing strategy is the destination the address you're trying to reach, and why you're going. Your marketing plan is the turn-by-turn -turn directions that get you there. Got it? Good. Next, let's explore why you'd want to create a marketing strategy in the first place. Why are marketing strategies important? Having a documented marketing strategy increases your odds of success. In fact, according to CoSchedule, marketers are 414% more likely to report success with a marketing strategy. That's because it helps you coordinate your marketing activities with your business objectives, align your teams to support the right goals, optimize your marketing efforts more effectively. Here's an example. Imagine you've been just put in charge of creating a marketing campaign, but you don't know what you're trying to achieve by executing the campaign and why, how and when they'll measure success, or which audience the campaign is targeting. Sure, you could invent these answers out of thin air or make an educated guess, but how likely are you to be successful in that case? That's where a marketing strategy comes in. With a documented strategy, all the answers are at your fingertips. You can create your campaign with confidence. Make sense? Next, we'll explore exactly what a marketing strategy is made of. The components of a solid marketing strategy. At its core, a good marketing strategy includes six parts your marketing objectives, target audience, value proposition, marketing channels, brand messaging, and performance analysis. First is your marketing objective. In other words, what are you trying to accomplish through your marketing? This could be things like increased brand awareness, a higher conversion rate, or more sales. Second comes the target audience. This is the biggest or most influential group of people you're trying to connect with through your marketing. This is usually defined in two ways. First, demographics. This would include information like the age range, gender, level of education, career, income, or location of your audience. Second, psychographics. This describes your audience's interests and behaviors and includes things like their values, lifestyles, or areas of interest. So for example, one fintech company's target audience might be young adults from the United States between the ages of 18 and 30 with a low to moderate income, and they might be interested in things like entertainment and travel. Third is your value proposition. This is the main reason why members of your target audience might want to consume your content or buy your product. So, for example, the value proposition for the aforementioned fintech company might be that their product helps their customers save for retirement more efficiently while giving them more control over their money. Fourth, your marketing channels. In other words, which platforms and tools will you use to achieve your goals? For example, maybe your marketing strategy relies primarily on earning traffic to your website from organic search, in other words, SEO, and through social media. Fifth, your brand messaging. This guides how you'll communicate with your audience. It includes things like your brand's personality, tone of voice, values, style, and point of view. This information helps your team create content that feels both consistent and authentic to your brand. Finally, sixth is performance analysis. 
This specifies your KPIs, or key performance indicators, and the tools and metrics you'll use to measure them. For example, for social media, you might look at your click-through rate, also known as CTR, your engagement rate and audience growth. And to do that, you might use Twitter and LinkedIn's native analytics tools. By putting all these components together, you'll have a detailed understanding of what you're trying to achieve and why. That's it for this lesson. In lesson two, we'll look at how to set appropriate goals that support your business. See you there.